next question uh, question 23 direction for the following three items consider the given information and answer the three items that follows so there is a big paragraph uh, and only three questions that follows so one advice i have here is uh, do attempt uh, such questions only if you have enough time with you uh, this will consume considerable time uh, and you will get only three questions so even if you look at the questions that <coughs> sorry, even if you look at the question that follows there is options like none of the above uh, and cannot be determined as data are inadequate so this going this is probably going to be tough one so you can uh, see the questions and um, make um, and choose if you have enough time to do the question anyway we will approach we will solve this question um so six box, boxes a b c d e and f have been painted with six different colors violet indigo blue green yellow and orange so before reading the entire paragraph we will just look at the questions first and what they are asking so first question is which one of the following boxes contains golf ball and second question is which of the following statement is or are correct and it is talking about which uh, which box is painted which color and the football is in the which box of uh, in the box of which color so it's all about asking about colors okay uh, and so green and yellow and orange and arranged from left to right not necessarily either kept or painted with the colors in the same order so it is also talking not only about colors but also about the orders so uh, none of the questions is asking about the order in which they are kept probably we can skip that information I'm not sure whether that information will come in handy to uh, properly assign colors and games to each boxes so we will see uh, so we so th there are six colors violet indigo blue green yellow and orange arranged from left to right each box contains a ball of any one of the following six games again the six games mentioned cricket hockey tennis golf football and volleyball not necessarily in the same order okay so again there are six colors and six games mentioned then golf ball is in the violet box and is not in the box d so before filling in all information we'll just draw a box we'll get enough space for each box so that b c there are six box d e three five one more box f color game So we uh, now we will fill in the information. The golf ball is in the violet box. So uh, we'll just note down that information. Golf ball x in the violet box, and it's not in the box D. So it's not in the box D. It's not in the box D. That is given. So to to D, we know there's no golf. Okay. And then the box A, which contains tennis balls orange in color. The game is tennis here and orange in color. So now uh, the box uh, the box A, which contains tennis ball, is orange in color and is the at the extreme right. So from left to right, we will number one to six. So that means A is at the sixth position. 
we are not sure as i said none of the question asked about the position we are not sure whether this information will be useful anyway uh, um the hockey ball is neither in box d nor in the box e so hockey ball is no nor uh, is not in d and not in e so we will write hockey there is no hockey ball uh, in d and e so there's no hockey so cross hockey means that is not uh, that entry is not here okay no box c having cricket ball is painted green so it is cricket and it is painted green now uh the hockey ball is neither in the box painted blue nor in the box painted yellow so just we'll write down that information hockey not yellow neither in the box uh sorry neither uh, hockey ball is neither in the box painted blue nor in the box yellow so not blue okay now the box c is fifth, fifth from right so fifth from right means uh 6 5 4 3 2 so c is in position 2 uh and next to b so b uh, uh, b is next to c so either one position 1 or position 3 we are not sure okay the box b contains volleyball so it is given box b contains volleyball okay the box containing the hockey ball is between the box containing golf ball and volleyball so there is one more information the box containing the hockey ball is between boxes containing golf ball and volleyball so we have not okay we will just not down that hockey between golf and volley we'll see whether we can use that information later so if you see already three games are filled in and uh out of this three tennis volleyball cricket all three won't be here also so golf hockey uh tennis volleyball cricket won't come in the d so only one is left which is football so if you see uh tennis volleyball and cricket balls are already assigned and here if you see d golf hockey will also cannot be assigned so the only option left for option d is football so we'll just fill in that here it is football so now only two games are left and for e hockey ball hockey cannot be assigned so only two left is golf and hockey so that means hockey comes here and golf comes here so all that is filled now it is given golf bo golf ball it happens in violet box so this is violet and it is also given in the hockey ball is not in yellow and not in blue so hockey ball is not yellow not blue so it not it cannot be yellow it cannot be blue it cannot be orange it cannot be green and it cannot be violet the only option left is indigo so we fill in that information now we have two colors left yellow and blue so we don't have any other information to fill in uh so it can be yellow and or blue we don't know this could be yellow or blue so we have used all the information uh hockey ball is between golf and 
it is said that hockey is between golf and uh, volleyball as you saw earlier we just need the color and games to answer the question the order is not asked if it was asked like we could have filled in the maximum information available so one key thing about such questions in the exams is just skip all unnecessary information just concentrate on the information that helps us to answer the question so first go through the questions first and then see which all information can be skipped it looks like this information can be skipped so anyway we'll look at the answers we'll look at the questions so i'll just copy this much so that okay i will paste it in the next page so first question is question 23 uh, so this is the information we have okay i'll just let me sorry Okay, I'll just. I hope you can see now. Okay, the question is: Which one of the following boxes contains golf ball? The golf ball is in box E. So, solution to question twenty-three is option B. Now we'll take up the next question. I'll just paste it again here. Sorry. Sorry. The next question is: Which one of the following statement is or are correct? So we have this. uh we have our box which we filled uh now which one of the uh, d is painted yellow so if you see d can be yellow or blue so which uh, that statement cannot be true we cannot say for sure whether d is painted yellow it could be blue also so a can a is not a correct statement f is painted indigo which is true so solution to question 24 is b we'll just check other two statements b is painted blue so b is we cannot say for sure whether b is painted blue it could be yellow also so c is wrong d all of the above since a two wrong statements are that is also so the solution to question 24 is b f is painted indigo we will take up the next question uh so the football x in the the question is sorry question is football is in the box of which color so if you see football is uh, can be either yellow or blue we don't have enough information to say for sure we, uh, which box uh, which color does uh, d has d is the football box so it can be yellow or blue so the correct answer is here Uh, cannot be determined as data is inadequate so solution to question 25 is c so we have answered the all the three questions i'll just go through again so these are the inform so as you can see some some of this information was totally useless just like position the positions writing down the position was useless this last information hockey ball is between golf and volleyball is was useless so we filled in the and box one by one so it took in uh, us good time uh, and when there is exam pressure it will be very difficult that's why i said only three questions are there you do this such big questions only if you have enough time in, at your hand so yeah we have answered all three questions so solution to question 23 is b e and solution to question 24 is b f is painted indigo and question 25 solution is cannot be determined as data inadequate c option c